Hey, what's going on, Hermits? It's your boy from Under the Rock, hitting you with a new Let's Play. It's going to start, you know, with a Skyrim Special Edition. Figured, you know, why not give it a try? Everyone loves Skyrim, everyone loves to see a crash. Everyone loves mods. <clears throat> so let me show you exactly what kind of mods I'm going to be running on this little thing. Got a little bit of, you know, luggage, more enemies, a little bit of, um... You know, X-Men, Wolverines, some more uh, armors, luggage, you know how it goes. Alright, so without, you know, further ado, let's kick off into it. Um, I've honestly played Skyrim before. I can honestly say that I have. Played it more times than I can count, more hours than I can actually spend. More hours than I'm proud to say that is more better part of, like, my entire childhood. But... <laughs> Well, you know, without further ado, let's get into the actual storyline of this. Now, this it starts like way later, like almost, like I want to say almost 400 years after the events of Oblivion. Um, damn, roll off. You're like, you're cutting me off, man. Like, look here, come on. Of course you are. I mean, you're you're bound in chains. Come on, man. Yo. Oh, you're, you're you're gonna die. I mean, there, there's no there's no doubt about it. But unfortunately, since I'm playing on console, I couldn't find any sort of you know mods for the dragons. Really wish I could be fighting, you know, Macho Man Ready Savage. But consoles are different from PC. That being said, I hopefully you know can get my PC up and running soon. It'll be a little bit more variety of games. Don't run, dude. Don't run. This is gonna hurt. Ooh. Ow! I could go for a little sprint. What do you want, Advira? What, what? 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 What do you want? I mean, what am I doing wrong? All right. Let, let, all right. So this is exactly no one. Character customizations. I want to go, you know, with the dark elf. Um, male, of course, you know. Gotta get my little fanciness going, you know, a little bit of dark, you know, like the caramel, like Hawaiian kind of skin color. Can't go wrong with a little bit of dirt. And who doesn't love a little bit of war paints? I mean, come on. I don't even worry about the rest, to be honest. Hair, you gotta look fashionable. You gotta look hip. You gotta look nice, especially for those, you know, casual parties where, you know, you go out. Get a little drink of skooma, some ale. Um, gotta look nice. Gotta look, you know, festive with a little knotted beard. Another refugee. God's really yeah, I mean, Mar the Battle of Morrowind isn't exactly, you know, better yet. Oh, come on. Fuck you, Captain. Fuck you. Thank you. My my maid will be able to get them for you, or from you for me. All right. Um, I chose the name Marcus. Um, just because it, it's a good name. It is a good name, and who doesn't like the name Marcus? I mean, you got you got Marcus Phoenix. Any Gears of War fan? fans out there? I mean, I can do a lot. I can do a let's play of all the gears, like a little series. The fuck is that sound? Yo, General Tellus. You tell me that you just didn't hear that. You're telling me this motherfucker did not hear war in the sky. Yo. That's not a way to say about the Princess R.K. I mean, granted, she is a massive snob. But she don't talk to a priestess like that. I mean, come on. Come on, someone help him. Someone help him. Help him. Aww. Oh. Are you kidding me? No! Kill them all. Just kill them all. Kill them all. 
Storm cloaks all the way. Death to the Imperials. I repeat, death to the Imperials. I. There's one thing I really wish I was able to get is the um, the executioners. Halberd. I mean, that thing looks nice. Oh come on! You're you're, you're gonna kill a dark elf refugee. You're gonna kill a dark elf. You have no soul, lady. You absolutely have no soul. That's a very nice looking horse. I do really enjoy that Hilbert though. What in is that? Yo, is that a- yep. That, that's a dragon. That's a dragon. That's a dragon. That is indeed a fucking dragon. Okay. Now, that's one thing that I really do wish that they actually implied in the game with, you know, Dragonborn. Um is the ability to call down meteors like that through a dragon shell. Um, but there's not much I can say about that. Yo, was he just like... Was he just straight up walking without moving? Fuck. I have no idea why it says to hug and keep, honestly. Yo, Alduin, you gotta get some breath, Miss Man. Your breath reeks like it just straight up stinks. Like, you gotta get some Mentos or some breath mints. Or even some, you know, minty lifesavers. Some peppermint candy. Come on. I mean, it's December. You gotta get something to freshen up that festival mouth. That's one thing that I never understood. Like, if you, whenever, whatever race you choose, gives you a different outlook on how you start the game. Because I usually do as Khajiit, and I'm usually running with the Stormcloaks, but since I chose Marcus this time, it's letting me run with the Imperials. Alright, alright, you, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to yell at me. You don't need to yell. I really don't know what that was about. I mean, I didn't even hear a Fusroda. I didn't see a Draugr. I don't even think Alduin can learn Fusroda because I've never seen him use it. So I just don't even straight up know what happened there. Damn, Alduin, you are just straight up wrecking this this entire fortress. Like, yo, you you don't need to be like that, Roloff. You. you you don't need to be like that. I mean, be, yeah, I mean, granted, he did try and kill you and all by beheading you, but you gotta at least, you know, I don't, I, you gotta be, at least be a little nice. Uh, I'm gonna go with roll off. I'm gonna go with roll off. I'm gonna go with roll off. Let's, let's take down the Imperials. Let's kill some Imperials. I'm gonna go with roll off. I like Ulfric Stormcloak and his beliefs, his traits, his opinions. I do not like the opinions of the Imperial Legion. Oh no. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Yeah, I mean you that thing was a dragon. No doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. I, I wouldn't call it. Moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. I wouldn't call it that, Roth. I wouldn't call it the end of times. There. But I really would say that well times are really starting to get fucked up. Like, majorly. Gunjar? Is that how you pronounce the name? Gunjar? Ring of Danger. I don't honestly know where, what the Ring of Danger does. I know it's from a mod, but I just don't know where it's from. The green and red pills, I don't know what they are either. The Staff of Mad. Mag. What just popped up? What just. Okay, I don't know what those are. I think that, yeah, those are from the 28 Days mod, which is a zombie mod. I just gotta try and, you know, tweak it out a little bit. I, that's probably what I'm gonna happen. Who's. <laughs> Who's a Sandman? He is a... Okay, apparently in one of the mods I installed, it 
has NPC mods that actually you have to talk to to activate the mod. But I don't know what kind of mod it is. Um. So yeah, I, I really don't know what time, what kind of mod it is. I don't know what the staff does. I know it's from a mod. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with the mod. That's it, everything that I'll be tweaking out later on, um, in between episodes. Uh, so. Okay, I don't even know what happened there. I think, um, with, you know, with a lot of mods trying colliding against each other, having everything pop up and out, I think I just flat out lagged to the point where my game glitched a couple frames. Um, death to the Imperials. My favorite insta kill by far of all the final scenes is sneaking up right behind with the daggers and slitting their throats. Um, that's one thing I never like. One thing I really love though is like the the, cin the cinematic uh, final blows. Ooh, the book of the Dragonborn. Yo. I don't, give a I don't care if you're on my side or not. You were taking up valuable time. I'm trying to save me and roll off from being burnt to a crisp from a dragon, and you wanted to talk to me. You want to talk to him. I'm not going to let that happen. I will let you die. I should have grabbed the robes. I should have grabbed the robes. I should have grabbed the robes. Oh well. So, I need your opinion, guys. For this build. For this let's play. Do you, do you want me to become a two-handed? A one-handed? An archer? Um, or Wolverine. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna be an Archmage regardless. But I need to know what kind of, like, melee things I need. Yeah, we'll increase to 16. That's one thing. Yo, you, you can't hit. You can't hit me. You cannot hit me. Mercy, my ass, you were just trying to shoot. Ooh, that looked toasty. You just tried to shoot an arrow, whether and me, whether it be in the knee or in my head. I'm trying to become an adventurer like you were. So come on. That's never been there. I think this is towards another mod. I think this this is the Exiled Greybeards mod. Yeah. This this is some of the most ridiculous ridiculous armor I've I have found yet. And it causes so much stuff to happen. Sixty base damage. Unarmed lockpicking. That's just god tier like that that I don't even need the resto loop glitch anymore. Just because of that necklace. But as far as like the armor goes, I'm gonna become a grey beard for the armor. Mainly because it gives me a lot of buffs. And I'm going to need the buffs if you guys want me to do a Wolverine build. Because the adamantium claws, from what I read in the mod description, take a lot of damage. Like, a lot of health from you. Die, spiders. Yo, give me my raid. I need to, I, I need to exterminate these spiders. Where's pest control at? Where is pest control? Can a raid, a fogger, called Terminex. In the ear, in I, I just gave him a piercing. All right. Ooh, 
Dino just captured a soul. Dino just captured a soul. That's one thing that I really love, but hate absolutely. Is the, um... Hold up. Okay, uh, apparently they, uh... One of the mods that I added was, um... More perks. The more perks mod, which gives, which gives me a more complex system of everything and anything around. But one thing that I do love about Skyrim, that they added through a, um, through an update, is whenever you step... Let me take him on, let me take him on. I got a dagger and a lightning shooting out of my hands. And I'm not afraid to use it. Like that necklace, that amulet is so overpowered and so broken. My what do you want, Roloff? Gerder runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. Cool. I'm sure she'd help you out. I'm. It's probably best if we. Speak. I don't know if I want her help like that. I mean, I don't know if she has someone off to the side or whatever she has. But I don't think I want her help like that. But one thing that I, like I was saying, the one thing that I do love about Skyrim, through an update that they did a long time ago, is whenever you go over like a skeletal torso, the game just purely freaks out and you start going so fast. These banners are nothing. Nothing for the graybeards. Spanners are nothing. Oh, Talscar the Wanderer. Smell that fresh air. Orders. Truly I don't know what orders are. For a generous fellow traveler, but of course. Uh, I want to know what kind of armor, like, like what kind of clothes that is, because that's glowing. That traveler just purely killed it. Like it, he just destroyed that wolf in that bandit. I've never actually seen a traveler do that before. Um, but yeah, I think that this is where I'm going to end the episode. A sense, I sense a change is coming. Yep, change is coming in this series, and it is going to be very crazy. But I'm going to leave this episode here. If you're at all interested, be sure to slap that like button with your grundle. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, if any of you want to see some more of this uh, series that I'm going to be doing, leave a like, leave a comment, letting me know that you want to see it. And um, yeah, see you next time.